In this video, we're going to talk about a retirement annuity. So the idea here is you've saved a bunch of money for retirement, and now it's time to start using that money, and we want to see how long that money will last. So let's look at this scenario here. At the time of retirement, a retirement account has a balance of a million dollars. Sounds good. The account earns 1.8% compounded monthly. $4,000 is withdrawn each month, and no additional contributions are made. How long until the balance is zero? How long is this money going to last? All right. So there are online tools to figure this out. We could just go to a website and punch this in, and it'll tell us. And we'll do that at the end of this video. But I expect you guys to understand how it's working, why it's working, what's the math behind it, and actually crank out the first few months of the amount in the account. So, And you could do this with a spreadsheet also. We're not going to do that right now with a spreadsheet. We're just going to crank it out by hand, and um, there's also calculators that will do this for you. But I want to show you guys what's happening here. All right, so let's start this off here. Let's say we've got a million bucks. Sounds good. Now, we um, are going to start by... We have to pay our monthly cost, right? So we're going to take $4,000 out of that account. So right away we're down to, let's call this, uh, let's see, let's put this here. Let's say month one. Month one. So this will be like the beginning of month one. Let's put our balance over here. I'm going to try to leave myself some room. We took out um, $4,000, so now we have $996,000 at the beginning of month one, all right? And so we're gonna spend that money. So now, to figure out what's gonna, uh, how much we're gonna have at the beginning of month two, we're gonna spend our $4,000 on our costs and stuff like that, but this big chunk of money, $996,000, is still sitting in our account and it's earning 1.8% interest. So we're gonna figure out the interest on that. We're gonna multiply that by 0.018, and it's compounded monthly, so principal times rate times time. It's one twelfth of a year is one month. Let's see how much money that is. Nine nine six zero 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 times point zero one eight divided by twelve. It's the same as multiplying by one twelfth. Just find it a little faster. Fourteen hundred and ninety four dollars. So this money is earning fourteen hundred and ninety four dollars in here. That sounds pretty good. So what's going to happen next month? Well, we're going to have this one thousand, or excuse me, this nine hundred ninety-six thousand dollars in our account, and we're going to add our interest of one thousand four hundred ninety-four dollars. But remember, what else we're going to do at the beginning of the month? We're going to take out four thousand dollars. So for month three. We'll have to figure out uh, how much money we have there. Let's see. Let's figure that out. Let's move this over here. Okay. So we've got 996000 plus our interest that we earned. That's great. Minus the money we're going to take out of there. That's going to leave us 993,000. 494, 993494. All right, 993494. Great. Okay, so then what's going to happen? Well, we're going to spend our $4,000 on our expenses, and while that's happening, our lump sum that we have left is going to be earning interest. And hopefully you can kind of see what's happening here. Okay, so we would do that. I promise we won't go all the way to zero. That'd be a long video, wouldn't it? Just cranking it out. Oh, I should have left that number there. 993494 times 0 0.018 divided by 12. That gives me 14.90 and 24 cents. So you can see what's happening here. Since my balance is reducing, my amount of interest is reducing. Last month I got $1,494. This month I got $1,490. Still a lot of money, but you can see what's going to happen as we go along here. The amount of interest is going to decrease. 
each month because your balance is decreasing each month. So we'll still add that in and we'll subtract out our $4,000. So 993494 minus 149024. Oh, I should have added that. Shoot. Okay, sorry. Uh, 993494 plus our interest. Subtract out our monthly cost. And we're going to be left with 990,000, 984.24. 984.24. All right. Uh, 9, 984.24. Okay. Did I get that right? We'll double check it. Looks good. A little sloppy, but looks good. Okay, so we would just continue doing this until our money runs out. Sounds like a real pain. Those of you guys that know spreadsheets could see how you could create a spreadsheet that would just keep calculating this, fill down kind of a thing. Um, let's go look at a website that will do this for us. Let's see. I like bankrate.com. There's lots of different websites out there that will do calculators for you. But if you go to bankrate.com and scroll down to see all calculators, and the one we're going to use is under annuities, or under investing, an annuity calculator. All right, so our withdrawal amount was $4,000 monthly. Our starting principal was a million. Our growth rate was 1.8%. And then we'll just hit calculate. And it says right here, 26 years. That's how long that's going to last. So let's say you retired at 70. All right, this would last you till you're 96. You could do this. Kind of interesting. Let's see what would happen if we change the withdrawal amount to $5,000. That's what's nice about these websites. You can just, that only lasts 20 years. Okay, you can kind of see, oh, what if I got, uh, let's go back to the $4,000 and maybe I could get 2.2%. What would that do? Remember, it was 26 years, now it's 27 years. Or maybe our market's not doing as well and I only get 1%. Now it's 23 years. So little things, little fluctuations in the growth rate or the amount that you're withdrawing can have a significant effect on how long your money's going to last which what you want to plan out in order to make sure you don't run out of more money before you die. Not to be morbid, but right, that's the situation. That's what we're planning for in retirement. So let's go back. Let me put this back to how we had our numbers. There we go, because I want to show you. Um, you can scroll down. Let's see. There's a place here where it will show you the, um, show you the, calculations that we were just doing. Let's look here. Show annuity balance chart. Let's click that. Okay, this looks good. This looks like what we were doing. Let me see if I can fit this on the same screen. I wonder if I could do that. There we go. All right, so remember we had our balance here, 996. That matches, and then we had 993,494. See, if you just went to this website, you'd see these numbers, but maybe you wouldn't understand how it was being calculated. I want you to understand where it's coming from. After three months, we've got 990, 990,000, 984.24. That's what we have right here, right? Pretty good. So if we kept going and going and going, we could see what would happen to our money. Now remember, these are months over here. So that's a lot of months. And this is what it would look like if we did it by hand. That wouldn't be a lot of fun, right? So the very last month, you don't quite have $4,000, but pretty close, okay? So what do I want you to get out of this? Well, what I want you to understand is how you can make interest and withdraw money, and this money will last a long time. Some of you guys might have thought, well, oh, I know how long the money will last. I'll just take my million dollars, and I'll divide that by 4,000 and see how many months that will last. Well, that's not taking into consideration the interest. Right? That would be if you were earning no interest at all. That would tell you how many months it would last. The only way to figure out how long it'll last 
is to crank it out month by month. Now there are some big fancy formulas and lots of books have big fancy formulas. I'm not really into the using those formulas. I'm not going to provide those formulas on tests. I'm not going to ask you to memorize those formulas. Um, we're going to either crank out the first few months by hand, like on a test, that's how we would do it. Or for a project or an assignment, we might use a website in order to calculate those numbers. So these are really, really important things to consider. Not only how much would you have to save each month to get yourself to a million dollars, but then how long will that million dollars last? And depending on the interest rate you get, um, sometimes your money could last forever. Let's say... Um, this interest that we got right here in this first month. Let's say for some reason we were only taking out $1,400 a month instead of $4,000 a month. Well, if we were only taking out $1,400 a month and we're earning more interest than that, our money's going to last forever. So sometimes people just live off their interest. If we could get this up to $2 million dollars, we would be earning close to $3,000 worth of interest per month. And if we could live off $3,000, I know that's not a lot, but maybe with Social Security or some other incomes, you'd only have to take $3,000 out of this retirement account, and then it would last forever, and then you could just leave the balance to uh, your beneficiaries, your heirs, your children, whoever you wanted to. Um, so that's how people plan out their retirement. you got to plan out how much you're going to save, but then you got to plan out how much you can take out each month. So it lasts the amount of time that you want it to last. Well, I hope you found this interesting and enlightening.